What's up YouTube, it's your favorite cousin Trippin', I'm back with another banger, I'm back with another banger, I'm back with another banger, I'm back with another banger. Okay, so I know y'all probably wondering uh, why I got this on. I got ghosted. What's up Trippelli? I am Frank from France. I kiss you. I wish you the best for your YouTube channel. I love your videos. You make me laugh. You teach me a lot of lessons that needs to be heard from the gay community. This is very inspiring. And you have almost 20k on YouTube. You keep doing better. I can say it's congratulations to you. Congrats. We do the best for you and I hope 2020 will be your year. And well, as I can say, and I love your opening song. This is very good. I like it. I know you see me on the television. I know you see me on the YouTube, but you know me in real life. I like this. I know you see me on television. I know you see me on YouTube, but you know me in real life, little homie. You better play it cool. Never let your left hand know what your right hand finna do. Because they gonna study your every move and try to imitate what you about to do. This here for the gang gang. I don't rock with you if I ain't feeling you. I've been on top since I started dog, and I ain't finna move. Yeah. I know you see me on television. I know you see me on your YouTube. But you don't know me in real life, little homie. You better play it cool. Never let your left hand know what your right hand finna do. Cause they gon' study your every move. Trying to imitate what you about to do. This here is the gang gang. We don't rock with you if I ain't feeling you. I have been on top since I started, dog. And I ain't finna move. Deal is triple plug is the real deal. I know you see me on television. I know you see me on your YouTube, but you don't know me in real life, little homie. You better play it cool. Never let your left hand know what your right hand finna do. They gonna study your every move and try to imitate what you about to do. This right here is the gang gang, and they don't rock with you if I ain't feeling you. I've been on top since I started dog, and I ain't finna move. Love you, cousin Trip. See me on your YouTube, but you don't know me in real life, little homie. You better play it cool. Never let your left hand know what your right hand finna do. Cause they gon' study your every move, try to imitate what you about to do. This here is the gang gang. We don't rock with you if I ain't feeling you. I've been on top since I started dog and I ain't finna move. Yeah. I got ghosted. I'm uh, I'm done. You know, everything was going good. Conversation was going good. You know, it seemed like you know we was getting to know each other, and one day they just stopped responding. You know, and I don't know what I did or what I said. You know. Uh, what happened? Yeah, it happens to all of us. You know, don't matter how sexy you think he is, how cute he is, how much money you got, how you're balling on Instagram, how many followers you got. We all deal with rejection and being ghosted, especially in these times. And how do we deal with being ghosted? You know, do you ever think about why you was ghosted? Uh, did you say something wrong? Uh, did you say something corny? Or did, and why can't the person just let you know how they feel instead of just ghosting you? You know, I mean, I don't know. For me, I think maybe I talk about love too much. You know what I'm saying? I, or maybe people you know, have a certain perception or expectation or they, they probably think I'm a freak, you know, and they want to talk about, you know, some different things. And then I come on there talking about some, you know, uh, 
do you see yourself getting married? And, this, and, it, and it ain't even on the first day. It, this is just regular conversation. <sighs> I'm done. You know, I opened up for the ugly people, the fat people and all, and that still ain't working. You know, so it's just like... I'm done with y'all. You know what I'm saying? And maybe I might go back to cute. Because... <sighs> I don't know, but I just feel like learning from these experiences is the best way that you can deal with them. You know, I, I just feel like being vulnerable is supposed to be a good thing. Sharing with people how you feel and what you want out of life and things like that. But sometimes if you do it too soon, you can scare a person off. You know, sometimes it's just best to just have regular conversation. I mean, don't even ask a person where they come from or, you know, uh, how many siblings they got don't act you know this just am i wrong like what to do you know and a lot of times i do feel like if a person goes shooting that just means that that wasn't the person for you maybe i wasn't doing nothing wrong maybe it's just not the person for me but should we talk about love and relationships and things like that when you first get to know somebody or should it just be like regular conversation you know how was your, how many times can you say how was your day uh you know what you do today or you know it just is no depth to it of getting to know a person especially on social media how do you get to know somebody on social media if y'all know leave a comment in the comment section down below because i'm i'm confused you know uh it starts off with liking a picture you know, you like a picture, I like a picture. You like two pictures, I like two pictures. You know, it goes back and forth. And then eventually, you know, somebody slides in the other person's DM and they talking to you and act like they want to get to know you and things like that. Y'all talking, communicating, the communication is going every day. You will get a message back and then it just slows down to the point where there's no communication left. You know, and if you're the person who left the message last and a person ghosts you, don't send another message. Especially if you see them online and they haven't even came to check their DMs to see if y'all, if you said something in return. But you see them posting and, you know, uh, doing lives and all that kind of stuff. It just means they're not interested in talking to you right now. So that's where I'm at right now, you know. I left the last messages. Only two. You know, I ain't gonna leave four, five, six messages and wait for a response. It was two messages left and I never got a response, but I did see the person was online. So it, that shows me that you're not interested in talking to me or maybe you want, you know, a break or whatever, you know, uh, you wait too long, I lose interest. You know what I'm saying? You Don't wait weeks and, and, and days and days and then come back and answer a question or something that I asked you a week or so ago. Because once you lose my attention, it's hard to get it back, you know, because I rarely give people my attention. You know, I rarely show people that side of me. So if you lose it, it's gone. You know, I know a lot of y'all probably, you know, and I can't say that there's something wrong with meeting somebody. It's happened before. People have met people on the internet, went on dates, but it has to be two people that's really into it. And a lot of times when you get to know somebody, they might say they want one thing, but deep down inside, they really don't. And it's hard to really make a good connection with somebody through social media. A lot of people need to feel the presence, need to be around you and things like that. So I do understand, you know, I've been ghosted a few times, you know, uh, people will hit me up thinking I'm in Atlanta or thinking I'm in a city or they can come in and. The moment I tell somebody that I live out the country or I live in Korea, they're not interested no more. You know, a lot of times people want that instant gratification. You know, uh, if we talk for a few days, can we meet up and, and you know, get our freak on or, or whatever? If they feel like they can't get that from you, they're not going to invest their time in you. And it's a sad thing. It's a messed up thing, you know. Maybe you will find somebody that will. But, like I said... You know, how to deal with somebody that ghosts you, let it go. If a person don't want to be a part of your life or don't want to build with you and can't take advantage of the time that, you know, you giving and, you know, I'm sweet. I hit you up, say good morning, have a great day. How was you doing? You know, all of those things. Some people just really don't appreciate that. They want somebody that's going to dog them and ignore them. You know, that'd be the person that they chasing. 
and then you chasing somebody else and it's just like you know everybody going after somebody else and, and nobody coming together you know all I need is one person to step up to the plate and really be that person that really puts they all into it you know and, and don't give up you know keep the lines of communication open you know in the beginning yeah I might be talking a lot about you know the things that I want you know but eventually that'll fade away and it would just be you know getting to know each other laughing and joking and things like that but I'm saying man the ghost is out here you know uh <laughs> They creeping in your DMs, they they flattering you, telling you you sweet and oh they like you and, and then the next week they gone, disappear. Like poof. They out of here. You know. It happens to all of us. Be patient. Somebody will be the right person. Like I said, if if that person ghosts you, it wasn't the right person. Don't feel no type of, you might feel like, damn, you know, but at the end of the day, two bees, two peas in a bucket. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it is what it is. It's your favorite cousin trip, man. I mean, let me know if you ever been ghosted before. How you feel about it? Have you ever ghosted somebody and why would you ghost somebody? You know, let me know in the comment section down below and let's have a conversation about it. You know, was that person coming on too strong to you? You know, uh, did they say something that you ain't like or you seen something that you didn't like and you just felt like, oh, it ain't worth it, you know, explaining to them. Let me just move on. Let me know, cousin, because, yeah, I ain't, you, you ain't about to keep ghosting me. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go back to the, uh, the Cleveland trip. Just dogging everybody. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody going to be able to get in. Y'all making it bad for the, the good people. Damn ghosts. How about your favorite cousin trip, man? Um, I don't know what else to say, but I'm out. And I hope y'all being safe out there. You know, um, things is opening back up. Uh, you know, slowly but surely, they opening up gyms and um, the sex parties back open. You know, and y'all got to be careful when y'all going up in these sex parties and things like that. You know, because now the people, you know, wearing a mask. You know, it, and you don't know what you're getting into now. You know, uh, everybody look, you know, decent around here. You know, unless they cross-sided or, you know, bug-eyed. You know, but you creeping off in the dark corner with somebody with a mask and a hat on. You don't know what you're doing or who you're screwing. You know, these masks is just another cover-up, you know, for the ugly people. You know, be careful. You know, um, if you out and about and somebody talking to you with a mask on, you know, you're going to have to ask them, you know, step six feet back, remove your mask and let me see your teeth. Let me see your lips and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. You know, all the features got to come together, you know, because you can't be judging people from just the eyes. And thinking you got somebody, you know, hot and all that because you would be, have a rude awakening once, you know, um, quarantine is over and uh, Corona gone and you realize that you've been talking to somebody ugly for the past three months. You know, um, yeah, man, be safe out there. And don't, you know, I know it's slowing up, but y'all can still wash y'all hands. You know, I hope y'all keep some of these things that, you know, been put in place. You know, coming around your hands smelling like blackened mouths and weed and uh, the balls from scratching your nuts and uh, booty and, you know, come on now. Keep them hands clean. Don't no girl want you uh, d d fingering them with no uh, d musty fingers. Dirty fingernails. Don't, don't no woman want that. You know, maybe a girl from the project, she don't care, you know, they used to, you know, weed fingers and cocaine hands and things like that. But ain't no polished girl gonna want you touching her with them old rusty hands. Look, I just came to teach, you know, if y'all don't want my advice, uh, you know, go ahead and do what you do. You know what I'm saying? But that's how some of y'all be getting, um... 
uh, what is it? Not ginger bodies. What y'all be getting down there? Um, vaginal infections and all of that kind of stuff because you letting them dirty bacteria hands go up in your um your thing and in it or your booty. Lord Jesus, please help the people. You know, um, I, I can only do so much to help y'all. You know, um, but I don't want to get too far off the subject. Like I said, you know, um, we're talking about ghosting. You know, if you ever been ghost, or if you are the ghost, holla at me. Now, you know, I'm not saying that it's not okay to leave a little bit of mystery. You know what I'm saying? Take a break or whatever. But if somebody send you a response to the message, let it be. I'm done with y'all, man. I I promise y'all. You know, I, I gave y'all one more year. You know, I told y'all, you know, because of quarantine and all that kind of stuff. But I might have to shorten it. Because y'all ninjas ain't, ain't shit. Y'all really ain't. You know, um... Like I said, you know, I might open it up to new races now. You know, uh, Spanish, uh, white, uh, Pakistani, Israeli, and uh, you know, uh, Jewish something. Cause ninjas, we just gonna pray for y'all. You know, um, it's your favorite cousin Trip Man, and I'm back. Did you miss me? Because I missed y'all, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'll let your boy, man, and I'm I'm, I'm going to talk to y'all on the next one. You know, I'm about to go on ahead and put my sheet back on, you know, and get ghosts. Holla.